Here's the thing about reverse racism. It's a figment. It's a phantom. It's summoned up by white people who have made the classic error. And they think that talking about race is the same thing as perpetuating racism. And look, professing that you don't see colour merely invisibilises injustice. It doesn't eradicate it. Because reverse racism assumes that essentially all things are equal. So racism is kind of a neutral social practice which theoretically anyone can be a victim of. But that's not what racism is. It's not just like any other interpersonal interaction. It's nothing less than the organization of the human species into those with proximity to power and those without along the lines of color and culture. So this plays out in multiple ways from microaggressions at work to all out assaults on the street. It affects you in terms of the size of your pay packet, to your likelihood to be in prison, to your access to quality, decent standard healthcare. And obviously race is not the sole determining factor in those issues, but white people on the basis of their race will never be discriminated against in that way. And while I think it is dangerous to collapse race and class into one another totally, they are closely related. So black and Asian minority ethnic households are twice as likely to be amongst those hardest hit by austerity. And when youth unemployment fell for white people, it increased for black and Asian minority ethnic youth. And what's more, money can't fully protect you from racism. Even Oprah gets shit, right? Because whether it's on the street or in the papers, people of colour are always made to symbolise the wider ills of society.